Over here, we have a few missing factor problems. You remember factors are the numbers we're multiplying. So what number goes here? How many times 3 makes 24? You know, we just studied that because it's in the table of 8 too. It's 8. 8 times 3. How many times 4 makes 24? You remember your 4s? It's not 5. No, 5 times 4 is 20. It is 6. How many times 2 makes 24? This has to do with, with doubling, okay? 2 times what number? 12. How about these? Can you solve these? How many times 5 makes 60? 10 times 5 would make 50. It's more than that. It's 12. How many times 6 makes 36? That's the one that rhymes, do you remember? 6 times 6 equals 36. And then this one. A method saying it has a rhyme too. Yep, this one has a rhyme too, remember? 5, 6, 7, 8. 56 is 7 times 8. This one talks about a Connect 4 game. It's kind of like this, okay? This is a Connect 4 game where you drop discs or circles into it. And a Connect 4 game has 7 columns, like this, 7 columns, and then 6 rows of empty spaces. Now Annie has 30 discs, 30 circles that she could play with. How many rows could she fill with them? How many rows in this game could she fill with her 30 discs? There are 30 discs, and if she starts filling the rows, row, 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 as you can see, one row takes how many discs? It takes seven discs. So seven here, another seven makes 14, another seven makes 21, and over here, 28, if she's filling them, and then 29, 30. So how many could she fill? I'm sure you saw the answer, four rows. Four times seven equals 28. And then there was two discs for the next row. Lastly, look, Matthew. Ready to do puzzles. There's two unknowns in this puzzle, two unknown numbers. A triangle is one number, some number, and then this circle. Then this square is another number. So what two numbers? You multiply them, you get 30, and you add them, you get 13. Hmm. Guess and check. Yep. Matt is telling me that 6 and 5 is not going to work. 6 times 5 equals 30. But 6 plus 5 does not make 13. So what else could you multiply? Two numbers. They give you 30. You add them, you get 13. Okay, I'll tell you it is 3 and 10. Right? Now how about the other one? Try solve it yourself real quick. Or pause the video and take your time. Aha, uh -huh, Matthew knows the answer already. Do you? It's not 4 times 6. It's not 2 times 12. But it is 3 and 8. Or oh, 8 and 3. Okay, I hope you had fun. Well done with this lesson.